The one featherweight Muay Thai world champion Pet Moore, Kat Pechi Indy, is back at 1161, and the Thai fighting legend finds himself in dangerous water. The champ defends his title against the surging prodigy, Tawan Chai PK Senchai, who is on the hunt for his first major world title. There's a few guarantees that come with the champ. He'll take a shot to land two more. He loves knees, and his elbows are lethal. Even when his wins are crushing, they aren't always pretty. Against taller fighters, he can slice them open with fight-ending elbows on the way in, or he can simply obliterate them with stunning accuracy, which is what happened to the giant Swede, Magnus Anderson. Against shorter opponents, he can utilize his range, patience, and pressure, as he did with the two-time Lumpen Knee champ, Pung Siri, to claim the inaugural featherweight Muay Thai title. His ring IQ is also underrated, as he proved in his five-round majority decision victory over the icon, Yodzen Clive Fairtex. Yodzen Clive gave him hell. It wasn't just Pet Marquette's youth versus the boxing computer's experience. The champ cemented his legitimacy as the number one guy in the division by outplaying and outlasting the legend. But Tawan Chai is coming for his head, and he won't make a fuss about it either. Just ask Sean Clancy, assuming he's back in this universe. It's hard to understand how much power Tawan Chai can generate, not just with his kicks, but with his hands too. Semipet felt them both when they fought. And while he didn't go to sleep, he couldn't get his legs back at all. And that fight didn't go one round. The same thing happened to Nicholas Larson, because when he lands on the chin, it's good night, Irene. It's a brilliant matchup for the main event, but there'll be fireworks in the co-main too. The light heavyweight kickboxing champion, Roman Kriklia, is back, but he's not here to defend the title. The giant Ukrainian is moving up to heavyweight, where he'll face the body-hunting Brazilian, Guto Innocente. For the champ, moving up to heavyweight is just him moving back to his old division. At just under six foot seven, he's easily got the proportions to outstrike any opponent from the outside. But his cardio is more like a middleweight. And once he's found his range, he doesn't stop. In the one championship, you won't find a more terrifying finisher. While he tends not to get the one-punch walk-off finishes you might expect from the big boys, if his opponent shows any sign of weakness, he doesn't give them a chance to breathe. That's not to say he doesn't hit hard. He does. It can be hard to watch and even hear. Let's go! His opponent is a little less refined. Innocente pushes forward and throws with constant power until the ref stops the fight. Or his opponent can no longer stand, and with power like that, it only takes one shot. Pit Morikant defends the featherweight Muay Thai title against the silent assassin Tawin Chai, and the light heavyweight kickboxing champ Ramon Kriklia wants Guto Innocente's heavyweight scalp. That's all happening at 1161 this September 29. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.